intermediate top, which is to say we know we were here in late January, we're now here in early August, and even if you don't decline, the principle is this, before you can exceed a former high, you have to contend with it. And what that means in principle is either we back and fill, or we back away. Neither is a bad thing, but that's what happens when you first approach a prior high. You want to invite them over? I, I, so they're bringing up a great point here where uh, if we do not reach the highs, surpass the highs of the stock market in February, uh, we could be going in for a correction. And it's hilarious because it kind of happened here with crypto where <clears throat> we had the dip and it never really came back. There was never uh, a recovery, as you can see in the chart. So is a stock market collapse good or bad for crypto? My, my opinion is, is as the stock market cools down, uh, it's going to make commodities like cryptocurrencies more attractive. So if you're heavily invested in the stock market, I think that you should consider owning some sort of crypto as a hedge, but also you should consider other precious metals like gold, um, silver, palladium on cars, whatever. Um, but yeah, just keep your portfolio diverse and it's good to watch these trends um, but I would say that we're still uh, gonna have growth in this economy due to the tax cuts with Trump so I don't feel like the economy is gonna get weaker in 2018 which probably means crypto is gonna also be pretty tame for uh, the meanwhile um, but like I said if if we for whatever reason cannot hit that February high and it starts to fall apart um, I do see the price of crypto moving up faster than the expected. And obviously an ETF and some custodian news would also be great. But there's multiple factors and it's just good to pay attention to all of it. But let me know your thoughts and what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys soon.